It's full time at the AFTV FC home ground, and the team are in the changing room getting a reality check. I don't want to be friends with no one. This is how I earn a f living. You look there, it's fucking embarrassment. How you not say you play fucking semi pro football? I must be a because I put you lot into clubs. Some of you lot got no fucking bollocks. You're going to be here, you've got to fucking work as a team. I come here every week. Some of us come here every fucking Thursday. I ain't wasting my time, I've been coming here a year. You put on a fucking shift if you play for this team or fuck off. Seriously, I wouldn't have some of you in my Sunday league team without fucking performance. We've got, we've got to shape up, man. We've got to shape up. Because we're better than this. Why not come up with a football team? Why not try and do it for real? You idiot! Back! To create our own fan league to show that we are the best out there. If you want to see bad man, you'll learn, innit? Oi! Oh, For all of you that don't know, this is Robbie Lyle, an Arsenal fan. He started a dream of his five years ago, a football fan channel to give his fellow fans a voice. Oh man, I don't think he knew what he was getting himself into. F***ing ham rock, get the f*** out of the club, blood. I'm done with this blood. I'm done with this blood. No, seriously, what the hell is this crazy What? I don't wish for that What the f*** was that? This is AFTV. Robbie and his channel continue to grow more successful. And Robbie's grind paid off, getting TV shows. We're the biggest football fan channel in the world now. And worldwide fame. But Robbie's ambitions didn't stop there. Here at the UFF offices, Robbie has called a meeting with his management team to inform them of his new vision. I've started um, a football team called AFTVFC. <laughs> My long-term vision on it would be to have a league. I'd love to have a, a league where you get like all these sort of big YouTube teams together or big social media teams together. Play the game, baby! Is that legal? Play the game! Even teams, uh, you know, would be willing to come into that league and we could form up a league and... Cheeky Sport FC, we're back, all right? If you don't believe me... I'm going to retire. Yeah? Undefeated. Yeah? Warriors! This is the United stand, and it's a massive, massive game. Why is he on the fucking pitch? We get a result out of this, even a draw. Tell you what, it's embarrassing for them. Yes, we use young people's passion for football, but are underachieving in school. They're demotivated often, they're quite poorly behaved. Now we work in 35 schools a week. Let's play! The semi, you idiot! The club started three years ago. I was in jail, and then to, where it's achieved now to get even get artists and people influences coming on down and take part as well. It's, it's amazing. I think if we put it out there, we will get enough people who want to be part of this league. I've got two people in mind as well that I might get to manage the team. Right? Don't laugh. Right? <laughs> DT and troops. Listen, I was going to watch Arsenal when he was still in his dad's ball bags. You're an embarrassment. I could bring out 10 f***ing banners. I've had enough of you, blood. You're not. You're not. Let's be real. Raw. That's it. I'll take that still. The method in the madness is here, right? I know both of them can be complete nuts here, but do you never know? They, they, they might rise to it, sort of thing. So, that they're, they're, <laughs> no? <laughs> Surely the thing is they always disagree with each other. So how are they going to make Yeah, are they going to work together? Or? Yeah, I, I think work together. They um, try and get the two of them to work together and um, see how they get on. If they don't cut it, there's others we can try and bring in. But, you know, I'm going to give them a chance to try and run it. It's without the money. <laughs> right, but yeah, so no, basically I'll sort of oversee things. I've got like uh, my cousin, Scully, and he's like a real, he's a proper A-licensed coach. He's going to sort of like um, coach the team. He'll be that guy on the pitch, like giving the players tactics and formations and stuff like that. Let's meet some of the team. Zach, a promising talent. Dave never backs down from a challenge. Mukta. This guy always says it as it is. Marvin, the big guy up top, who puts them in for fun. 
Kieran, the shot stopper, who won't back down. Cullen, the star player, does his talking on the pitch. Nash, a striker, turned defender, the leader on the field. But yeah, as a whole, back to front, I think, I think we've got probably one of the most dangerous squads going forward and defensively. Yeah, he's very competitive. There's a lot of competitiveness in this team, so everyone's battling for their positions, fighting for their place. So. We're like a family, really. If you can't play that pass, you shouldn't be here because you're wasting my time. Because when it comes to match day, if we can't play that pass, hit them corners, we're no good to no one. Fucking hell! Fucking concentrate, man! Scully will put his foot down. Because Scully knows what he wants and he knows where he's going, what direction he's going into. If it's coming from there, fucking think about it, man. You ain't going to beat him after that. I can tell you you're not going to beat him after that. Do not stop. Skin him! Skin him! Yeah. It's hard on you, but it's fair. So, yeah, yeah, was, yeah, definitely discipline, as you can see yourself. So. Scully's a help as well, because he picks some people and banters with them, so then you can get into that as well. Good. Done well. Yeah, yeah no, you'll get there. Well done. Good. Done well, son. Good. <laughs> Enjoy it? Yeah. Good boy. Well done. What we have to do now as a collective unit is work hard on the pitch. And it starts from training. It's only an hour. It's not perfect, but it's football's football. The ball's still around and we still got to fucking train. We got there in the end. We have to switch on earlier. Many a times we look like we don't know what we're fucking doing. And we can't have that. We know what we're doing, we know the drills. So you just switch on and take a bit more care. A bit of time. But how you train is how you play, and I'm I'm picking the team off of that. He's as easy as that, it's f***ing black and white. Scully, he is just blunt, and I love it. But he has to be hard on the team, as they are not far off their first game against Cheeky Sport. But Scully also had a surprise for them. Anyway, we've got new kits. It's Wash & Go, our new sponsorship. Get to a stage. Some of you will wear it, some of you won't. Kieran, you're still there, son, which I like that. It's a bit tight. Might have to get that one. Might have to get that a bit bigger for Kieran. Hey, what are we talking about? Same again. This is nice. I like this one. Done well. Train well today, son. Yeah. We, didn't, we didn't have an argument, did we? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You'll notice anyway, because you notice I'm not shouting at you. <laughs> what do you mean? But what a difference it's made. If Scully wouldn't let him play if they weren't ballers, man. Seriously. You saw what he was like. If you can't do it, f off. That's what he says. He don't, he don't miss his words. He don't miss his words. It's good. Show them a dream there, boys. Come on. Goalkeepers need to be leaders. You have to be a leader to be a goalkeeper. You've got, you've got to organise your defence. And generally, I shout everyone on the pitch, no matter whether up front or, or, or at the back. Like, if you miss a shot, you're going to hear from me. If you miss your tackle or you don't stand up to your man, you're going to hear from me all over the pitch, so it don't matter. Kieran is a charismatic guy, but football is not his only passion. Control room into the studio. <laughs> this is uh, another part of what uh, what I do outside of uh, outside of football, which is music. Um, currently with singer, songwriter Jamie Bailey and Robbie Barlow, um, the producer. We're looking to basically start up a record label from, from scratch, independent of record label. I'm the hype guy, basically. I'm there to... Uh, <laughs> I'm the hype man. I'm there to uh, get them exposure, good exposure in as many ways as possible. Kieran has got his own album, <laughs> right? It's not very well produced. He's got an 11 track album, <laughs> loosely, ba loosely based around football lyrics, <laughs> and his journey as a goalkeeper. It's fing sick. Like, this could take Arsenal fan di turn TV a different level. <laughs> not having it, baby. Don't come back. But Kieran didn't always play for AFTVFC. Oh my God, no one really knew what we were getting with him uh, when uh, he first came from Google FC. Because, uh, you know, we're just, you know, we're, we were a new group. So he's come in, he's obviously done this and kind of been kind of like that second captain. So. Leaving Google. I wonder how many fan cams Robbie made to pay for that transfer. I'm a centre half, yeah, and I'm banging more goals than you look. Come on, boy. Exactly. <laughs> so the guys see Kieran as a vice captain. But Nash, he's the one who puts the armband on each week. I can honestly say, if it wasn't football, I don't know what I'd be doing right now. Because obviously, like, I've, I've worked and I've tried work. Personally, I don't think it's for me, like, working a nine to five. I don't think I could do it. Like, I've never had a steady job. Like, obviously, my mum's told me so many times, oh, you need to find a stable job, find your path, if football doesn't work out. And I don't think I could do it. Slim chance to make a fresh But like, even if I play at a decent level where I can make a living off it, like, I'll be happy with it. Obviously, not the first time I've been captain of the club. 
But I like the responsibilities. I enjoy it a lot. The players also found out tonight that DT and Troops will be their managers alongside Scully. DT as a whole, he's not bad to be fair. He's given me a few pointers. So obviously, he's done previously played for us as well. So he's given me input how to position myself here. And they're funny characters, man. It's good to have a run. I've heard Troops on some of uh, the previous commentaries, and uh, I weren't too happy, but he's what it is. Yeah, no, he's, he's always digging out goalkeepers. I don't understand it. Like, I've seen him play. I've seen him play. They'll, they'll bring up the banner, definitely. And they know their stuff about football, so I mean it can only be can only be an addition to the squad, really. And they're wise guys as well, so I think with them in the team, it's just going to boost the winning mentality. DT is a lifelong Arsenal fan. He rose to fame through his appearances on AFTV. He always has something to say, and never says it quietly. Not when you go out and play like a bunch of fucking like that, Robbie. What I will bring to Arsenal Fan TV FC is how to win games, how to fight till the end, how to never give up. DT fancies himself as a manager, but he's also a father. This summer just gone, AFTV FC had a charity football match, where his son Kieran was returning for the first time after recovering from a broken leg and is trying to get back to his best. He's back in Stevenage for a third year, so. I will see. I'm looking forward to seeing him back again, man. It's been a long road, a long nine months. Even though it's a charity match, DT couldn't help himself. After a strong challenge between Kieran and an opponent, DT, the ever protective father, rushes onto the pitch. Hey, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Okay. Yeah, chill, 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 chill. Oh my God, we'll have any more times. You step on the pitch, I you? No, because I'm used to stepping on the pitch. Right, he was a he was a ball bag for stepping on the pitch, but I know why, because of his fing son. I've been there, I've done it, I've got the t-shirt backing my son up. But Liam, was you a step on the pitch? Maybe a little bit. Right, thank you. Thank you. you. That's, a half, you that's a half, half reason. I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I'm yeah, happy with that. Such a mark, yeah. Later that night after the game, Kieran unexpectedly put out an Instagram post quitting the team, taking digs at the team's ambition and organisation. Yeah, Kieran left. Um, reason why he left was because he's focusing on his career. Obviously, he's had to get back to full fitness, get back into Stephen Edge's setup. Yeah, that was his priority at the time. He has to take it up with him, why he did it the way he did it. Nothing to do with me. He's 18 years old, a nice babysitter. What's his name? Robbie Lyle? Yeah, that's the one. Scully, he's good. Troops is like a hand roll. And then this guy at the top, yeah, that's the, that's the main man. That's the management. The manager, look. How are new troops gonna get on? We ain't. Yeah, we ain't getting on. Troops, the people's champion. Troops TV. Well, that's what he calls himself. Back again, I back again, listen. Who's gonna question my leadership? It's not gonna be questioned. Man know themselves. I think I'm their man there that just sit there and take from people, bloody. You mad fam? Rest in peace with Medea, yeah? I'm breathing, live and fucking kicking. That's what I'm saying, people's champion, you have to know. I'm like Simeone, fam, you understand? Man ain't like Wenger. When I'm the manager of AFTV, I look at man like Emery. So when Robbie chose to make you manager of AFTV FC, he also chose to give you a co-manager. Yeah. It sounds like there might be some fireworks from the sound of things. I don't comment on camera, it is what it is. You have differences in opinions, innit? You understand? It's Robbie's decision, innit? I gotta back my chairman, innit? Like, the team comes first, innit? You understand? Like, we just have our own technical box. Money? Yeah. I know everyone wants to play for me, so boy. Well, Troop seems ready for the team, but are the team ready for their first game of the season against Cheeky Sport 
in three days' time. These players play my race at the moment. Robbie, we have a chat. Come on. Robbie's always getting food. Always getting a drink. <laughs> the spirits do seem high with the boys. Right, here you come. Let me give you a bib. If I give you a bib, I can split them up. Give me a bib. Oh, sorry. Have a look. Take a bib as well. Is that big enough? Get out. Chug it out. Stay in your zone, Abdul. Stay in your zone. Stop there. Stay in your zone. You're, only, you're not allowed outside there. You're not allowed outside there. You're not allowed outside there. It's one and one defending. You can play it, but you must stay in your zone. Hey, just fing switch on. Come on. That's fing. Some of you are not playing. I can fing tell you that now. The quality has to be better, chaps. Because when you're not picked, do not fing look at me like a couple of people say, oh, Scully, I'm. I'm Disappointed I'm not in the team. I don't give a f if you're disappointed. Because I, I want to win. So next time someone fing calls me and says, Ah, oh, Scully, I'm disappointed I'm not in the thing, I'm going to fing delete their number. I won't fing get beat, I know that. But some of you lot won't be fing here, and that's the fing reality of it. Because I'm not fing having that, that's fing shit. I travel a fing hour and a half, and we can't ping a ball 25 fing yards. Have a bit more about you, have a bit of fing self pride. Bit of fing passion. It's easy to kick a ball and say I'm lucky. Unlucky is when you miss a fing train. When you've been waiting an hour and they say the train is going to fing Houston's been cancelled. That's unlucky. Not when you kick a ball to someone there and it goes over his head. That's fing. So fing just get on it, chaps. We're either going to fing be in it together or not. But that's not fing acceptable. Bloody hell, Scully. Don't hold back. It's the day before the game, and you can feel the excitement in the air of London. Or it might just be me. The game against Cheeky Sport, a YouTube football channel. Led by a group of hilarious guys. This is Joel, an Arsenal fan, in fact, who wants to get one over on AFTV FC. <laughs> yeah. And Scully decides to pull the team in for one last team talk to separate the men from the boys. Everyone will get on. I'm, I'm going to go with a strong team. I want to win the game, chaps. It's as easy as that. If you don't turn up, you don't deserve the right to win. What they didn't know is they're about to get an unexpected message from the opposition. Arsenal Fan TV, Jiggy Sport Joe here. I'm telling you we got the best football team. And I ain't got a problem showing you guys live. Let me tell you something, you play us, and you'll see, I'll come back from my FIFA, and we'll still be here. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> he's calling for my FIFA. He's wavy as <laughs> and he's giving us a message. Joker. <laughs> Cheeky sport. He was, at, he was at the Rebel game. He was at the Rebel game, weren't he? Give it the big chat. Now, boys, we, we can't have someone from Ibiza Give it the big chat. So we don't need no more enthusiasm after that, mate. <laughs> now, yeah. <laughs> now we have to show them, boys. Got to put at least four past them. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> this, this is a joke team. The message that we send to Mark when we win is the message that will go out to all the other YouTube teams that we mean business. I don't even know who Cheeky Sport are. If they were a good team, I would know who they are. It's not happening. 100%. Just from that video now, I've said it. It's nothing. Nothing but a win now. I will gas the players up when I get there. I'm coming for a win. 100%. <laughs> There's another drunk guy just thinking they could beat us, man. <laughs> He's hungover, innit? I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. He's hungover. So we'll win to my wall rubbing his face. Just leave it as that. It's a bit cheeky from cheek, Cheeky Sport, but. Like, yeah, like, I'm looking forward to the match. Like, I, I want, like, it made me more, like, want to, we want to beat them now. Like, it's one of those where we really want to get a result. 5-1. Give them a consolation goal, 5-1. All I can say is good luck, because you don't know what's coming. Simple. These guys are confident. They've got this, right? It's match day. AFTV FC versus Cheeky Sport. There's Chairman Robbie rocking up. DT's here nice and early. 
The boys look calm, they look confident, they look like they've got this. I mean, listen, it's real simple, right? Cheeky Sport FC, we had a few games together, it's kind of broken down a bit, but we're back, all right? If you don't believe me, we've got kits, mate, in a black bin bag, that's right. Real Sunday League stuff, you know what I mean? Real YouTubers business. We called up Robbie, and we said, hey, Robbie, um, you got a spare kit, because obviously we ain't got one at the moment, innit? So he goes, you know what, I'll bring you our away kit. I didn't really trust him, innit? You know Robbie, man, do you know what I mean? Someone like Troops or something might like, swap the stuff around, and next thing you know, bam, we ain't got nothing. Is Troops coming? He's in there. I swear he is. I swear I heard someone walk in the change room saying blood. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I swear I thought I heard you him come him? in. No, Has he can't be. He's too in? quiet. Yeah, he's too quiet. He's too quiet for him. Every day on set, man, I had to say to him, yo, man. Keep... He's loud, isn't he? So Troops is a no-show. Great start there to his managerial career. You know what I mean? <laughs> we, got, we got dark chocolate, quarks, you know what I'm saying? Same thing, up. Raheem, our French. He's our Thierry you know <laughs> straight from Monaco. He's got Cecil here, you know what I mean? <laughs> Big man. You might have seen him in a few musicals and stuff. But <laughs> I'm going to follow your lead yeah. this way because you know the boys yeah. better than me. You've been to the training. Today I'll use it as yeah. a marker to kind of exactly see right. anyone that I haven't be fair, seen. If they're not doing it, just pull Yeah, them yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. And then obviously I'm going to be starting so yeah. half of them win the Europa League. Yeah. Thing. <laughs> then um, I'll be, be there, at, yeah, I'll be at all the training sessions anyway, so you'll get to see it. Enjoy yourself today. Forget the cameras, forget what's going on around. Just enjoy yourself. And then let your football do the talking. Because from the ones I do know in here, you've got ability. Just got to go out and show it. And then we take it after today. Boys, yeah. we're ready, yeah? Yeah, of course we're ready, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> Warriors here, yeah? Warriors! What's this? Don't worry about our team. I'll be I had to, I had to, I had to, I Something yeah. you just said to me, he plays for QPR. He goes, yeah, bro, he goes, nah, just come nah. Down, just come up from down the road. Nah, nah, he might have been training. <laughs> like, nah, 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 we're not ringers, man. <laughs> George, how you doing? Veteran over here, <laughs> for, former Crystal Palace player. See, I told you. No, no, no. When he, he's that, he's that, that's that like 10 years ago, mate. Ringers. 10 years I ago. Don't be scared, don't be scared. No, yeah, but, uh, they but, all got mouth as well. But, I noticed yeah, that, yeah, man. No, no. These they guys, got that's the what they do. I like that, I like you know that. That's saying? good. But, yeah. I love the confidence. Three points, always. Anything less is a disgrace. A good game. Definitely will. They're a good game, so. But I don't wish you a good game. I'm not wishing you a good game either. I'm just happy to see you. Not too happy, though. Same. You know? Same thing, nothing ain't changed. We're going there, right attitude, first of the ball, yeah. winners. Yeah. Their heart will fail them like every other team, bro. Yeah. Their heart will fail them. Yeah, just the same thing that Scully's been saying. Play with a smile, play with, you know, your teammates. Look after each other, back each other up. And um, remember, it's a team game. So, um, yeah, just go out there, enjoy yourself, and don't lose to this lot, please. Yeah. And Jay. If anything, if anything happens, like a, your teams are not happy about a decision, calm it down, come to me, and I will explain it. Set the, set the example. Agreed? So the game is finally underway. Will the boys live up to the expectations? I just love the quality of the match footage. Bring back VHS. Good guy, lads. You're not doing it. You're not doing bad. Cheeky sports have it down the wing. Wow, that was far too easy. One nil cheeky sport. That's a captain's challenge there from Nash. Yeah, listen, this is a goal. This is a goal. This is a goal. Watch this. Told you. 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 Target. Target. We practiced that. Trust me. You got them lottery numbers, Joel. Fucking this right hand side every single fucking time. Scully's the manager, that's that's it. Scully should be doing everything. That's it. That's the way I see it. You've got one manager, one voice. That's the way it should be. 
so awkward. We've got to make things, things have got to change, innit? Relax, hey, hey, relax. We're already 2 0 down, so we need to bring each other up and, and try and get out of this, but we've got the players to bounce back and get goals. F off, man. The team are not at their best. And predictably, yeah, yeah, DT is starting to lose his call. Yes, in, in. You're fing lost. This is men's football. You've got to take responsibility. So I fing man up. Brandon, you're doing all right front. Sam, you fing touch. Your touch is fing awful. How are you playing fing semi professional football and you want to be a professional footballer? You're fing kidding yourself. Did anybody else just see that? The guy on the left, I swear he was crying. Because at the moment, you're testing the trees. That's all you're doing. And it's embarrassing, and you're embarrassing yourselves. In that first half hour, it was a shambles. And like I said, it looks like some of you have never played football before. When the ball's coming to you, you're like, get rid of it, just give it to him. And then you're putting someone else into trouble. And it's making you all look like idiots. This team are the ones that hardly play football, that hardly play together. We're the ones that train every week. For people at home that watch that first half, they would turn around and say that we're the team that don't train and we look like... Do you know what I mean? Do it for yourselves, do it for your teammates. Right, the boys need a fight back and now. Who you got? Who you got? Come on! AFTV have got it in the middle. Through ball, there's a chance. Hey! Right, who's your penalty taker? What's with the Pogba run? And it's 2-1. Lucky. Keep the same focus, boy. Back Don't in switch it. Up. Oh, 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 that miss. I'm with you, Robbie. Absolute shocking miss. Well, that comeback didn't last long. Rep, the whole team stopped to say to you there's a head injury. The whole team stopped. That's why they got the throw and just threw it to someone there on his own. Mm. Referee versus DT. But why didn't you listen then? Why aren't you listening? I'm asking you a genuine question. Why have you not listened? I... It's a head injury. Well, I, well, I didn't see the head injury, OK? I didn't see the guy go down. I'm, I'm calm. Believe me, I'm calm. If I wasn't calm, then you'd probably be sending me off or something. It's clear to see. Their players stopped. Our whole team stopped. Come on, mate. Give us half a chance here. Looks like Nash is out. That won't help matters at all. Take your time. All right? You get whacked on the back. Yeah. As I won the ball, the top of his elbow was landed on the back of my head. It's red straight down. I couldn't see straight for a few minutes. I just woke up a bit dazed, a bit blurry. I'm a bit better now, though. Who hired the ref? Come on, come on. Don't f***ing hire him again. Seriously, he's f***ing shot. Come on, come on. It's like f***ing Mr. Bean. Hey, steady, man. It's not in this area, it's over there, Ref. What are you talking about? It's over there. <laughs> number, number. number. <laughs> hey, this is what? Is this. Is this... It's a fing joke. Oh, what, am I paying the fine, yeah? Quick throw from Cheeky. Oh, nice goal. Good celebration too. Four one. Good strong goalkeeping there from Kieran. But wait, there's another goal. Five one. I bet Wenger is laughing somewhere. But Scully's lads take one last shot. Five two. Great goal, but just one for himself. But that's uh, out of six games, we've won five. We only lost our first one. We played top quality teams, including AFTV, and we've done our job. You'll find a lot more of a cheeky sport job before the start of the game, but when the game starts, we've got to keep it professional. If you lot think, and I'm fucking serious, if you lot think I'm going to stand and train, work with you lot there, you're fucking kidding yourself. I told you lot from day one, I do this for fucking money. I don't want to be friends with no one. This is how I earn a fucking living. You look there, it's fucking embarrassment. How you not say you play fucking semi pro football? I must be a because I put you lot in the clubs. Fucking awful. Fucking shit. You lot come here, you think you're good players somewhere, and fucking waste of time. Absolute waste of time. Fucking not trying. He's the smallest player on the fucking pitch. 
He's putting a shift in. Some of you lot got no fucking bollocks. Do you want to get the, the fucking this? And they're beating us fucking 6 1. Hey, you lot got a bit of bollocks about you. 5 2, Scully. But yeah, I hear you. It was. Fucking useless. Absolutely fucking useless. You've got to play to your strengths, boys. Seriously, two touch football. When you. The last 15 minutes of the first half and a 15 20 minute spell in the second half. When you started playing one, two touch football and realizing what you can do, you were tearing them apart. When you got the first goal, you nearly scored 30 seconds later. Why was one, two touch football? It took you to come on the pitch to say, it's not a potato, it's not hot, don't get rid of it, just play with it. Control the game, slow it down. Yeah. But boys, if you didn't know that before we played today, then there's yeah. fucking no point in being here. Yeah, so you I'm... should know, playing this team, every team's going to want to beat you. Every yeah? team. You've got to fucking turn team. up, and you've got to start to work it out. The there's no excuses. Robbie's making excuses for you there where yeah. we ain't playing ages. That's bollocks. That's no. It, it is wrong. There was not it enough people easy. today turning up, yeah? There was four or five chasing down the ball, then it weren't the other four or five chasing down on that next ball. You're going to be here, you've got to work as a team. I come here every week. Some of us come here every f***ing Thursday. I ain't wasting my time. I've been coming here a year. I ain't f***ing wasting my time to turn up and get turned over like that. Yeah? You put in a f***ing shift if you play for this team or f*** off. Seriously, I wouldn't have some of you in my Sunday league team with that f***ing performance. No, got, it's we, bollocks. We've we got to shave up, man. We've got to shave up. What's better than this? Scully, yeah, Robbie, so come here, man. Whoa! This looks interesting. <laughs> I want to speak to you about something. Something missing. I want to bring Kieran back. Tell me who plays his role better. Tell me he can't walk straight in that team. Oh, boy. Well, you know what it is with your son, yeah? Remember Kieran, DT's son, who quit the team abruptly on social media? After DT got into a fight, he wants to come back. I said, why are you burning bridges like that? Why is he doing that? And what did you say to me? Oh, I back him. I back him. No, no, I backed him you for said what? To me I backed you his decision, him. not back to no, how he did it. No, you said you back him. When I, I backed his decision, not how he did it. I was talking to you and I was not saying to you... Not how he did it. Well, but I'll tell you what the problem was. How many times did he Wait a minute, shut up a minute.